Merry me guys, I thought I would do a catch up video because I've got lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of news and I haven't really spoken about my personal life for a little while so I thought I'd catch you guys up with my friend Freddy. Let me bring my mascot Freddy out. I don't have a familiar, I just have Fred. It's great. Um, oh, he's so brilliant. I love him to bits. Ugh. Anywho. So news, 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 news. First up, college news. One, coffee house got shut down for the day yesterday because a load of hipsters and chavs were misbehaving. I don't know if Americans have hipsters, but I know they have what they call gangsters, which is our equivalent of a chav. But anyway, um, they were basically just causing trouble. Um, I think a girl got injured because a pool ball or snooker ball, depending on what you want to call it, was landed was thrown across the room at someone but it missed the person that was intended and hit her in the back of the head obviously making her get concussion that her parents complained and the principal took action for once because it's not normal for her to pay any attention to us students um so yeah so coffee house got shut down for the day even the student union union members got kicked out the whole thing was locked up um, I'm just thinking, what about the poor ladies who actually have to work in there? Like, they serve the coffee and stuff. Where did they end up going? Did they just go home without any pay? I don't know. But I do feel bad for them. Um, and obviously I had to have my uh, equality and diversity meeting somewhere else, which was quite annoying, because I normally would have it in the union office, but, you know, rubbish. Um... And loads of people complained, you know, as they would. Um, but I did say to them, well, Coffee House was going to be closed for the whole week, and that would have been it. But we managed to persuade the principal to sh just shut it for the day. But the problem is now, is that when we go back in, there's going to be no pool table, <laughs> and there's going to be no Xboxes, because we have Xboxes in there as well. So I'm just hoping that these measures will sort of make things improved. Although, that said, there's going to be hardly anything to do in the coffee house anymore. It's no longer going to be that hub of um, sociableness. It's just going to be people walking in, buying their coffee and walking out again. It's just, unless we do something else about it, I suppose there'll be a meeting about that at some point, which I'll have to go to. Um, what else, news-wise? Oh, yeah. Uh, Valentine's Day was spoken about. Um... And um, as women's, um, we are doing a contraceptive drive. If you don't know what one of those is, it's basically trying to persuade people to have safe sex, basically, on Valentine's Day. Because, obviously, Valentine's Day is a romantic time of year, and more people are going to be uh, getting it on, literally. So, um, as women's officers it's going to be our job to sort of make sure that everyone's going to be safe and obviously promote the fact that we're there as with that we do exist for the females of the college and that we want girls to have that as an option if they are going to be doing it to be prepared because it's if a girl is prepared then there's a lot of stigma about a girl carrying a condom in her handbag like oh she's a slut because she's carrying one around no she's not a slut it's because she's being practical and she's being sensible um so we want to create that as a drive to be able to give women the opportunity to be empowered and to sort of have that common sense there to be protected so we're going to be doing that um and also for women's we're going to be going off to a three-day conference. Fingers crossed. That's if um, my tutor will give me the time off because I'd be missing two days of college because I'd be up at a uni, basically on a little uh, NUS holiday. Um, if you don't know what NUS is, it's the National Union of Students. So, like, you've got the trade unions for teachers, doctors, um, all that lot. I don't know whether they have that sort of thing in America, but over here we do. Um, because I know that I have both American and English subscribers. Um, 
and are basically what the union's job is to do is to promote the rights of students in college and make sure that they're getting the money they're entitled to, making sure that they're getting all the things they need, um, making sure that their rights are upheld. Because even then, NUS is like different branches of it because there are so many different types of student. Of course, you've got the LBGT. I don't know why. LBGT. Yeah, that's right. I'm saying it right. I can. I always get muddled with that one. So yeah, LBGT, uh, women's, disabled, mature students, and ethnic minorities. There are five, so five branches. There's going to be five conferences, one for each section. So it's not just one big conference for everybody. There are different conferences for different people. And obviously, as women's officer, me and my friend both because we're both women's officers, unless someone else goes as well, because there's supposed to be three of us. So if the three of us go to represent our college, to go up there and have a good time, basically, and learn about women's rights and campaigns that other colleges are doing, and finding out whether they would fit ours and sort of bring back some campaigns to do, which would be pretty awesome. And obviously we've got Women's Day in March, which we need to start preparing for. Um, we're trying to figure out good ideas of things to do for Women's Day to promote obviously women's rights and stuff like that. So if you guys have any ideas or if you guys have had any women's rights campaigns in your states of education, can you let me know what you did? Tell me, either uh, down there as a comment or as a video response because we need to get some ideas because we're running a bit dry actually because we're thinking we need some in ingenious new ideas of things that we can do um, that that would be suitable for the multi-faith, multicultural uh, college environment so yeah it'll be quite cool um, trying to think, trying to think so yeah that'll be me off for three days potentially I'll take a camera up with me and I'll do some vlogging from the conference and I'll tell you guys how it goes so that's uh, that bit of exciting news. Um, I'm trying to think what else am I up to. I'll be going off to Bath in a couple of weeks um, because I'm going off for the tour, the guided tour, which will involve talks about the union, talks about um, accommodation, finances, basically everything I'm going to need to know. So I'm going to take a notebook with me and a pen. Um, make sure I make the most of that. Um, I really love loved Bath when I went last time, although I was quite naughty and I left the open day really early so I could go around the city. Obviously I can't do that with the tour, I'm going to have to stick on the whole tour, which is quite a few hours, so I'm going to be doing from 9 till 4 doing that, and then obviously um, two and a half hour train journey to and from. So yeah, I'm going to be really busy that Tuesday. Because luckily it is a Tuesday, so I don't have to ask for the time off. Um, and then that same week, um, I'm going to be going off to to Scotland. Actually, so that week I'll have because it's Valentine's Day as well, which is obviously means I'll be on the Tuesday. I'll be going up to Bath. Wednesday I'll be quite quiet. Uh, Thursday will be the Condom Drive and Gang Show rehearsal, and then off to Josh's. Then I'll be going off to um, Scotland, so maybe I'll do, obviously we will poodle up to Heathrow and hop on a plane to Scotland. Then we're in Scotland for three days, Aberdeen to be precise. So I'm going to be taking my laptop, I think, so I can do some videos. And hopefully I'll be able to borrow a camcorder from college and I'll film around Aberdeen. Because and just general Scotland and try and take a camera and take a few shots of wherever I go because you know Scotland's supposed to be a really nice place so, and I'll probably try and do the same for Bath so that would be quite cool um so that's that um and obviously this Thursday I'm going in college in my pyjamas for the uh, Make a Smile campaign which is um creating holiday homes for people with learning difficulties so that they can give their families a break and themselves a break from their normal routine they can have fun whilst their families can go off and enjoy themselves as well 
so it sort of gives a nice little break on both sides so that'll be quite cool so load, most people are wearing their onesies but I don't own a onesie because I decided that I would not join in that um, craze as it were because over here we're all wearing onesies it's a bit mad I'm just wearing I'm gonna wear my flannel pajamas like I would do and obviously I wear a pair of leggings and a t-shirt underneath to keep me warm I'm gonna look terribly random but hey ho and if it's going to raise money for people with learning difficulties, then game on. So yeah, that's that. Um, thanks for watching my long video. I think that I've covered everything now. Um, yeah, I think I have actually. I just need to obviously go to the doctors today um, to pick up this blimmin' disability proof because I've asked for it for weeks now and I'm, they're still not giving it to me. I don't know whether it's because there's been a bit of a nonovirus epidemic, which means I've been too busy trying to look after that to roll out my thing. But that's no excuse. I need it. And I told the university that I would have it for them by January. It's coming towards the end of January now. And I told them when I asked for it last week, I wanted it as soon as possible. Still, nothing's happened. So I'm going to have to get the bus down there and sort of really prod them. So, yeah, you know, rubbish. Um... Yeah, so that's all my news. Um, I'll probably do a few witchy videos later um, to get everyone up to speed with sort of um, stuff like that. And I'll catch you guys later, and blessed be.